So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathos, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And the missing contact. Let's try this again. Where's Nev Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dread Wolf. I'm not leaving until I know where she is. Be ready to talk by the time I get to you. <laughs> Darling, you're adorable. <laughs> Stay a while. <laughs> Nev Gallus. Dumat Plaza. The Venatory cultists took her to Dumat Plaza. <laughs> Thanks. Your friend, Nev Gallus, is at Dumont Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although, for the record, there was probably an easier way to do that than fighting an entire bar. See you say that. But we do have Nev's location now, so... Don't get cocky. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. Archon's palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Spare a coin, please. Andras, they bless you. You still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Wait! But I didn't do anything! Get down! Are they after us? Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we... Oh, crap. We're too late. The ritual's starting. 
started. But if we hurry, we can still stop Solus before it finishes. Let's go! Parting's this way. She'll get us to Dumont Plaza, then that will get us to Solus. Watch out! Is Solus on the day so fast? My guess is the veil is weakening, and they're slipping through the cracks. And when the veil comes down completely, and the whole world is going to look a lot like this. Come on, this way. It should get us to Harding. You're safe now. Get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? Fought some demons, and the Archon's palace took a few shots at us. Nothing we couldn't handle. Speak for yourself. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages. But their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Eyes up! We've got company! Demon! Here they come. Get to Dumont Plaza and find Nev. You two all right? Patch yourselves up if you need it. I don't get it. You are in violation of Imperial order. Oh no, I think that's Dumont Plaza. <laughs> Let's move. a few years back, but a lot of our people killed. Yep, I was there. Come on. Guess we're sliding down. Work, not the Venatoris. 
Cleric, hiding. Not the worst timing. Nev, it's so good to see you. We thought the Venatori had kidnapped you. They thought the same thing. A lot of Venatori in this city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. Find out who wanted to settle the score this time. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Appreciate it. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. Nev meet Rook. Harding and I found him a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece? One of the strongest pieces on the board, but he tends to think in straight lines. We haven't got a lot of time. Varric said you had a lead on Solus? You get right to the point. I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. So if we do catch Solus, or the Dread Wolf, whatever he calls himself, what's the plan? He wants to bring down the Veil. Hopefully that ritual takes his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing his ritual, so he can't fight us. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight-up fight, we're dead. We can slide down. I'm getting too old for this. <gasps> That's the building I tracked Solus to. Looks like the Venatori also found it. And then demons found them. on the entrance. I can get it. So this is the Dread Wolf's hideout. One of them at least. Not sure how long he's been here. Some of this looks ancient. Solus has been around longer than Menrathus itself. <laughs> Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. What do you see? No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. Ancient elves doing something to a dragon, I think. Yeah. Trying to control it, maybe? Zola said the other elven gods were evil. If they were binding dragons... More demons. <laughs> <laughs>
It sounds like that opened something below. Then let's have a look. glowing window you saw earlier, Rook. It's called an Alluvian. They're elven and very old. It acts like a doorway from one place to another. Solus uses them to get around quickly. He must have gone through it. Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. were bad back in Midrathus. The fades of mess this close to the ritual. No telling what will come through. Does it feel like those tremors are getting worse? Keep moving and try not to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone all right? 
right? Good enough. Let's get to Solus. Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option. To help him justify changing his mind. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. More demons! Take care of the team for me. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Let's buy him some time. I hope Eric is getting through the Solus. We better talk fast. We can't hold these demons up for The veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... People are dying right now. You need to listen. dying. It is what they do. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine. But you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Hardy. Nev, keep the demons off us. You got it. Push it! I'm with you! 
Together! Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. Push! Yeah. You have no idea what you have done. Soulless. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world! When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. All right, you brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped. And the blighted elven gods walk free. Right, you were innocently doing nothing when we came along. The prison in which I had trapped them had begun to crumble. I was moving them to another. So you weren't tearing down the veil and drowning the world in demons and wild magic? I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... ...quite practiced at shading the truth himself. 
So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. That's really helpful. What are you, the elven god of sarcasm? Lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending upon the story. And how could I help? I do not have my ritual dagger. I cannot access my network of mirrors to travel from the lighthouse to anywhere in the world. All I can offer is what I know. Helpful advice from the elven god of, and I am quoting you here, lies, treachery, and rebellion. Depending on the story. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Why? Why tear down the veil? Do you want me to take the shot? No! I have no idea what you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay. But I saw Sola stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it'd take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. What happened? I did my best to talk sense into Solus. But of course, he wasn't listening. He never does. The plan did go a little wrong. Yeah. Nev got everyone out. By the skin of her teeth, mostly. And before you start worrying, Harding will be fine. She's made of sterner stuff than either one of us. Or, at least, she's a lot tougher than me. Varric, when we stopped the ritual, something else got out. Something even Solus is afraid of. You've got this, Rook. World's not flooded with demons right now. Because you stopped Solus, not me. Varric, even so, I need you to- Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like that time you ditched your orders for a better strategy during a darkspawn attack. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole soulless mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook? You're awake. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to barge in. I was just looking for Elfrut. No, it's, it's fine. I was just going to stretch my legs. Oh, Rook. Watch your step out there. If you put a foot wrong, you'll fall forever. Yeah, on top of everything else, the Illuvian took us to the Fade. The place where dreams come from, so... That. Yeah. Then I really need to look around. Yeah, you should. And we should talk about things. Maybe find Nev. She's outside, looking around. There's a room with a table down the stairs. I'll meet you there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid.
Look who's with us. We're, uh... We're really in the fade. Land of raw magic, nightmares, and this, apparently. It's a lot to take in. Harding thought we should talk about what comes next. She's not wrong. But if you need a breather, can't hurt to look around first. Be two more.
Wisps. Figures are in the fate, but I swear they're following me. You all right? Strange place you've fallen into, but I'll work with it. You know me. Uh, do I? I know Varric wanted you for the job. You know the same about me. It's a start. I'm not sure stopping a ritual is the best way to meet someone. So much for first impressions. Here's hoping I'm better on the second. Well, you're not bad so far. You take a lot of notes. What about? Lately, what we know, or knew, before Solus changed the game. And it's... Not much. I'm sure Lace would hate to hear that, but one step at a time. We'll figure this out. I'm sure of it. Really? Do you know something I don't? No, we just... well... well, we have to, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the job. wasn't supposed to go this way. What do we do now? What do we do? Harding? Oh, hey, Rook. Uh, how's it going? I should be asking you that. I got you hurt. This is a dangerous job. Everyone knew that signing on. There's so much to do. We have to keep going. Are you sure you're all right? Maybe you should rest. Yes, Rook. I'm fine. This is nothing. I'm just a little dizzy. I'll walk it off. Or something. Harding, you can't just... Oh, yeah? Watch me. We need to get back to the ritual site, don't we? Let's stop worrying about me and go do that. Come get me when you're ready to go. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey. Varric made his choice to go talk with Solus. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solus is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solus called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? In my head, Sola showed up while I was out cold to gripe about his breaking's ritual. He's mad about us destroying his ritual? Sounded like it. When the ritual went wrong, he ended up trapped in some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams, even kill them. I'm not in danger. He can only barely reach me. I bled a little when I got knocked out. So Solus is using blood magic? Like, 
any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. He nearly brought down the veil, Nev. Can you do that? You know it's not that simple. He may not be a prayers and blessings kind of god, but he's a lot more than just a mage. All right. Well, we've stopped the ritual, and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elganarn and Gilanane, two of the ancient elven gods that Solas rebelled against. I talked with Solas. He was scared of them. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solas says Elganarn and Gilanane drew on the blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one god running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that, without Varric. And you're still getting back on your feet. I'm fine. We can't just sit here and do nothing. We need to investigate. Figure out what we're dealing with before we rush in and make things worse. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? If Elganarn and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what they want. But we only have Solus's word about all of this. Then let's go investigate for ourselves. We find out what we're dealing with, and then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the scene of the crime. Harding. You okay to go? I'm not gonna sit back while elven gods destroy the world because I have a headache. All right then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. If it even takes us back to Arlefin. <sighs> Harding, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Well then. Shall we? Let's do this. Quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find... It's not 
Strife? Irlin? It's me, Lise Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's, sorry, Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. We found Solus, and stopped his ritual, but things took a turn. The magic went wild. Solus was dragged into the Fade, into some kind of prison. But when he went in, something, or someone, else got out. Elganon and Gilanane, supposedly. Mathalanast. The return of our gods, the Evanuris. If those two are back out in the world, it explains a lot. Like what? Artifacts that have been dormant for centuries are awakening. Something that would need a source of tremendous magical energy. Like two of our old gods. Anything you can tell us about these gods? Solus might be a bastard. But compared to the Avenuris, let's just say they weren't known for being kind rulers. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Avenuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Belara Luter. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. Then you two get your friend back to your camp and we'll... <laughs> we'll find Ballara. Harding, I need you to stay with Strife and Irulan, all right? What? No, I'm coming with you. You're a great shot, Harding. You can help the Veil Jumpers here. They need you. Uh, fine. Since they need me. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Valara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you.